Jimsy's bound to have left something for us. Oh, she's gone to bed. That was very wise of her. You know, it must be five years ago back in Avonlea that I started making dreams and plans and resolutions and they were all leading up to this day. Has it been as you expected? Yes, of course it has. It's been a wonderful day. Wonderful for me, too. Come and sit down. I want to talk to you. Oh, look what Jimsy has left for us. <laughs> Not now, Anne, please. Oh, I almost forgot. I was going to show you that letter. What letter? You know, it's quite short. Hmm. Yes, but it doesn't tell us very much about your father, though, does it? Oh, to me it tells everything. Everything that really matters. Yes, of course it does. I'm sorry, my darling. I was thinking of it in terms of something that might cheer my mother up. But never mind. At least there's nothing there she can take exception to. Anne, listen to me, darling, please. I don't think there's any point in either of us pretending that what I'm going to say is anything more than a formality. You must have known for a long time just how I felt about you. Ever since that first moment I met you, I've known that I could never love anyone else as long as I lived. I hadn't spoken before because I gave my family an undertaking not to commit myself until I gained my degree. But I knew it was quite safe to promise that. Because even if it had meant waiting ten years instead of one, I knew I would never change. And I knew you well enough to feel sure that you wouldn't change either. Anne, my sweet Anne, will you give me your promise now? Will you marry me? Anne? I can't. I can't marry you. I can't. What do you mean? I mean that I can't marry you. I... I thought I could, but I can't. Why can't you? Because... Because I don't care for you enough. S so you've just been amusing yourself these no, years. No, Roy, I thought I did care. Truly, I did, but... Now I know that I don't. Forgive me. You can give me no hope. Then all that remains is to say goodbye. I can't understand it. I can't believe you're not the woman I thought you were. But reproaches are idle between us. You're the only woman I can ever love. I thank you for your friendship, at least. Goodbye. My parents' consent. <sighs> they admire and adore him as much as I do. Oh, well, I... Yes, I... they do. Oh, I'm very glad for you, Phil. I, I hope you'll both be very happy. Is there something wrong? Roy proposed to me tonight, and I refused. Refused him? Yes. Anne Shirley, are you in your senses? Oh, Phil, don't scold me. I know exactly what you're going to say. Roy said it all, and, and I've said it to myself all over again. Are you sure you did the right thing? Yes. I'm quite sure now. It was when he asked me to marry him. Well, it was as if I was finding out about myself for the first time. I realized that he just didn't belong in my life. 
Oh, Phil, this has spoiled everything. Roy despises me, you despise me. I despise myself. It wasn't because Gilbert Bly sent you those lilies of the valley, was it? No, of course it wasn't. That was just something Gilbert said he'd do oh, years ago when, when I got my degree. I didn't see him there tonight. No, he... He went home a few days ago. He... He didn't wait for the ball. Oh, you poor darling. Oh, look, Anne, there's something I might as well tell you now. Roy was furious, was he? He was very bitter. It's not the first time he's resented being refused by a girl. In fact, it's happened twice before. I know his sister, and she can't keep her mouth shut. She says he always gets over it. Two days usually does the trick. So don't be too depressed. You may be just another one he can brush off. Well, that doesn't make me feel exactly happy. You know, Anne, your trouble is you're too much a dreamer. In real life, things do get mixed up sometimes. They're not all clear-cut and trimmed off like they are in novels. Well, I just hope that no one, as long as I live, ever asks me to marry him again. 